The highlight of this year's EGX After Party is DJ Yoda's A History of Gaming. You will know DJ Yoda from his Stranger Things mixtape, which blew up the internet last year. I got to ask him a few questions just before he went on stage. You've been touring with A History of Gaming since about last year? Yeah. Is tonight going to be your best show yet? Uh, yeah, every time I do it, it gets better. It's the same with okay. all the, the shows that I do. It's in a way the kind of the shows themselves are the best practice that you can have. So every time, even you know, I did this the same show last night here at mm -hmm. EGX and learned things from that that I'm going to incorporate tonight. So I, the way that I see it, every time I do it, it gets better. Okay, so it has it changed quite a lot since you started. It? Yeah, they're, they're kind of all my shows are in just a constant state of evolving. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I never really kind of think it's perfect. I'll stop <laughs> doing work. I just constantly try and you know, lose the bits that I think are the worst and enhance the bits that I think are the best and it's kind of a, yeah, evolving thing. Could you describe the show sort of in one sentence for people that haven't seen it yet? Yeah, I mean, it's a, I, I do audio-visual shows when I DJ, so as well as the music, I'm creating the video as well and this one is just very simply a kind of chronological history of, of gaming but from my perspective, because I realise that it's <laughs> a big subject, um, so really I've just tried to include the stuff that's made a difference to me. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's some things that I think are the key, most important games in there, uh, with kind of relevant music uh, attached to them and all being mixed up and scratched up. Mm -hmm. um, but as ever with my AV stuff, it's so much easier to just see five minutes of it than for me to try and explain it. <laughs> so I can yeah. kind of like put it into words, but then when people watch a YouTube clip of it or something, they go, oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> no, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, why a show about games now? Um, it, it kind of occurred to me at one point, I did a history of, of hip-hop show uh, a couple of years ago uh, and I started thinking about how gaming and hip-hop really kind of go <laughs> side by side. They kind of started at the, exactly the same point mm. uh, and really blew up. Uh, they were kind of subcultures and then they became pop culture. Mm. And so I could really see parallels with those two things. <laughs> I think that's kind of what caught my interest about it. I'm interested in media of all forms, so you know I've done, I've got some shows that are, uh, one show I do is the best of sci-fi movies. One is this history of hip hop show. Mm. Um, so it's uh, I'm not interested in one specific medium ever, but sometimes things capture my attention, and I just think, well, there's stuff to be explored in that, and it's it it's almost like a jigsaw, just piecing it all together and kind of making something out of it. Would you say the treatment between like the gaming material and the film material that you do a lot of, was that different? Was your approach different? Yeah, it was a bit different. Um, when I'm sampling from movies and TV shows, uh, it's kind of more about um, finding cool samples, or like stuff, mm. stuff to scratch or stuff that visually kind of is interesting when, you, when you're adding DJing to it. Uh, the gaming stuff, it's much more about um, because it's a history, so much of it is jogging people's memories, uh, <laughs> yes. and it's a lot of it's a blast from the past. So it's about kind of including gameplay and then the best bits of the gameplay, and then within that, trying to find the bits that work for scratching. So sounds that are really iconic from from gaming and mm. little kind of one second visual moments that you can then scratch with. Mm. So yeah, it is a different a different thing. It's very nostalgic, isn't it? Very, yeah. <laughs> I feel like in recent years there's been a lot of nostalgia with retro games, mm. where, where do you think that comes from? Well, I think it's to do with uh, the age of the culture and the age mm. that people are now. This is what I'm talking about with the parallels with hip-hop mm. and with Star Wars, actually. Star Wars is another thing that really kind of 1977 birthed all this stuff. Yes, that's it, true. It birthed me <laughs> the same year that <laughs> I started. Go. I feel like hip-hop started, gaming started, mm. Star Wars started. Uh, and we're at this point now where culture kind of works with these 20, 25 year kind of cycles. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you look back 20, 25 years now uh, and there's a real resurgence of stuff from around that era. Mm -hmm. Do you have the feeling that gaming has become more mainstream as well? Absolutely, yeah. But within that, it's just become bigger. As it, and uh, yeah. as I, I've said it like three times now, but <laughs> exactly the same with hip hop. It, it, it's so huge now that within that, you can find small indie cool stuff, you can find mm. massively commercial stuff, you can find anything you can think of because it's just exploded. Mm. Yeah. Coming back to the hip hop, like in general, mm. if you you know if you research DJ Yoda, um, you're very much described as a hip hop DJ, mm. um, which is about as cool as you can get. <laughs> and then you're also called DJ Yoda, and you do a lot of very geeky things yep. in your sets. 
Well, so are you a very conflicted person? No, no, not conflicted. But the way I see like cool and nerd is a circle, <laughs> and right there's a very thin line at one point between extremely cool and extremely geeky, um, and I, that really fascinates me. It's always fascinated me. Mm. Uh, that's kind of why I like a lot of kind of. 80s American high school movies because it's about all these kind of sub genres of people and the and the jock and the nerd and all that kind of thing mm. uh, and that fascinates me and there is definitely yeah on the circle of that there's a, a grey area so you wouldn't say there's one side that I'll, I'll no it's not a spec other. it's not a linear spectrum it's a circular one okay so because you're going so much in depth with the retro games mm. is there anything that you like about modern games or not so much yeah I mean the, fo the focus really on this was to do a history so I, I didn't want to weigh it too much in one specific era mm. but because it's personal I did want to include loads of stuff uh, that I really remember so that's kind of early 90s is really is the <laughs> is the stuff that's like the golden era for me but I wanted to make sure it was still a history so yeah I did bring it right up to date um, and that's where Game of Disco got involved because I, I really needed to like get some info like uh, you know the last 10 years or so I've not been concentrating on gaming so I needed mm. to be filled in like what what's the key stuff and within that I tried to work out what I liked and what I didn't so do you have a favorite gaming memory? Gaming memory of yeah. all time. I was, actually, that memory got jogged today because I saw the um, the Outrun arcade. With what, the, in here at Yeah, EGX? Here, here at EGX, okay. yeah. I saw the, the car um, <laughs> with the music loud and everything. I was like, God, that's it. That's just my, you know, if I had to boil it down to one thing, it's that. <laughs> so is that also one of your favorite sound bites from that game? Oh, 100%. I mean, that's my favorite uh, game soundtrack as well. OK, yeah. well, mm. I'm looking forward to hearing that in the yeah, show. Yeah, definitely get included. Uh, thank you for your time. My pleasure. <laughs>